Uh, so in this video, we're finding approximate time differences using latitude and longitude. Uh, now we've used maps uh, with time zones and we've been told what time zones are and we've been told what, what uh, GMT certain cities are and we've been finding time differences that way. Uh, it's also possible to approximate time differences um, if you just know the positions of the two uh, cities. So you can see that we've got one city here at 30 degrees north, 40 degrees east, and another city here at 30 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Uh, so they're on the same line, uh, north and south, but east and west, they're in different places. If I draw a really quick crude map, we can see 30 degrees north, 40 degrees east is somewhere over here. Uh, and it's 30 degrees north, so it's up here somewhere. And uh, 120 degrees west, he's going to be all the way over here somewhere. And in the same line. So we're finding these two cities and we're finding the time difference between them. Now, it's really, really straightforward uh, because there's this little handy t tip for you. Uh, one degree difference. Now, that's only if it's east and west. One degree difference equals four minutes. Now, this is obviously only approximate because we deal with time zones. It's not like if you move a little bit to the left, the time is different. Uh, but this is used as a general rule of thumb. If two cities are one degree apart, their time difference will be four minutes. Uh, that only works once you start dealing with larger things because of time zones. Okay, so let's look at this one. The angular difference between these two places. Now, you need to be a bit careful here. Uh, there's 40 degrees here. There's 120 degrees here. So the angular difference is going to be 40 plus 120, which is equal to 160. Now, you could go try, try going around the other way. You could go from here around the Earth and back around, but that would end up giving you 180 degrees. That's the long way. So we're going this way, and this way we're going the short way. Okay, so if the angular difference is 160 degrees, the approximate time difference, and this is a formula you'll need, is equal to the degrees, so the angular difference, times 4 minutes. Okay, so that's going to be equal to 160 times 4. That's uh, 326.40. Now that's 640 minutes. So the approximate time difference between this city and this city is 640 minutes. Now in terms of hours, uh, it's probably a good idea to convert to hours. If we divide that by 60, we'll get 10 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, now, remember, this is really, really strange because there's not actually any two places in the world that have an exact time difference of 10 hours and 40 minutes because our time zones are generally on the every hour. Uh, some weird ones are every half hour, but uh, in general, our time zones are every hour. So they're either, uh, and I'll write this here as my final answer, these two cities are either 10 hours apart or 11 hours apart. Now, it really depends upon the country that they're in and the time zones that that country has agreed upon. Because remember, this the time zones are fairly arbitrary. The, the countries can just decide what they want to do there. Okay, so very, very important here. One degree of difference equals four minutes. That's what we've learnt today. And this formula here, the approximate time difference between two towns is equal to the angular difference, only if you're going east and west, not up and down, times uh, four minutes. Okay, that's, um, that's finding approximate time differences using latitude and longitude.